Hi guys, my name is Ekaterina Kardakova. I'm an opera singer, voice and public speaking coach, but also I'm a founder of Creative Tech Lab. In this video, I want to talk to you about the stage fright. This is one of the biggest topics in terms of public speaking, the stage fright. And the statistic says that 95% of the population of the earth has the stage fright, meaning that 95% of the population of the earth is afraid to show an own potential, to show and express the talents. And this is really pity. So let's talk about this. Where does it come from? Where this stage fright and public speaking fears, meaning communication fears, come from? But before I get to the topic and dig deeper, I want to say that if you want to learn more about public speaking and voice training and many, many other topics, you can subscribe to my channel and please go to my blog. You find the link in the description because there, not only me, but also a pool of experts and my colleagues, we write for you and share our knowledge all about psychology, growth mindset, business, public speaking, life coaching. There are so many interesting articles we have already written. So go to the blog and you find lots of interesting information, not only for public speaking, but for your life generally. So let's come back. Let's get deeper. Where the stage fright really comes from. You know, many of my clients who come to my individual trainings or offline trainings or whatever, webinars, they do pretty often say the same thing. They say, you know, actually, I am a communicative person. Actually, I'm, I like to communicate with other people. But as long as the group of these people is growing, I start to feel uncomfortable. And especially if I have to talk in public or do make a presentation in front of the big audience, then my confidence goes down. I want to keep this confidence I, and I want to feel comfortable in front of the big audience, small audience or whomever, just all the time. And this is, of course, the, the skill. This is the training and practice. It, it takes some time to practice, but it's possible to be confident most time when you talk in public but where really these all these fears and all, all this stage from comes from of course there are many many different reasons but from my experience i would highlight three reasons and the reason number one is the education the education from your parents your caregivers people who surround you and so on and so on the thing is that when you were born as a child, who are the kids? Kids are, you know, the blank paper. And on this blank paper, your parents and your caregivers, educators, they write on your subconscious mind what you feel, who you are, what you should do, and so on and so on. So then when you grow up, you don't even notice all these ideas and I would say not only the ideas, but all these limiting beliefs you got from your parents. All these or many of your fears are not yours. Many of your fears and the most of your limiting beliefs, which are very deep under in your subconscious mind, are not yours. They're from your parents. So this is very important to get them out to understand what kind of limiting beliefs do you have and where and when you got them. As long as you have this insight, aha, uh -huh, I had this situation, very, uh, very common situation when a child, you know, wants to do something, does something and the parent reacts like, mm, or something. It might be that actually the, the, the idea or the emotion of the parent was not about you, but as a child, you, you got this as, you know, not as something positive and you remember this. And from this, you get this, all these limiting beliefs or from experiences, but mostly limiting beliefs come from your parents, when your parents said to you, don't do this, don't do that. They want you to protect you. This is understandable. They want to protect you, they wanted to protect you. But now, as an adult, 
you should protect yourself and you should be very clear about what beliefs are mine and what beliefs are written on my subconscious mind by my parents and caregivers because many fears I want really to repeat it many 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 times most things not even many but the most things are not yours they're not yours you got them from your educator caregiver or your parents and from there comes number two you should take or you should how to say it correctly you should uh, know better yourself because when the most people really let's be honest the most people don't know who they are what they have I mean in terms of talents where they want to be I already uh, told in my video about the vision because the vision is the third ingredient of my charisma formula and I already told that every time when I ask my participants or my clients where do you want to be what do you want to do and what actually what do you like to do people mostly time don't know they maybe can say one two three and that's all what you know the simple question what can you do the best most people start thinking really what can I do the best <laughs> actually it should be very clear for you what are you good at and uh, but the thing is that it takes time and practice to figure out who am I what are my ideas which you know beliefs are mine and not the others what I want to do in my life where I want to be it takes time and sometimes it's not easy to figure it out and all this process of transformation of you know learning and knowing yourself it's a challenge it's not easy that's why that's why most people decide I won't do that better I will sit on the couch and you know uh, watch other people building their dream life and criticize them and talk something whatever take responsibility for yourself learn about yourself about yourself and know have have a plan for your life also this go with the flow it doesn't really work yeah take responsibility for yourself meaning that you create your inner kern and this inner kern gives you so much confidence because you are not dependent of the opinion of other people anymore and this is the third reason why do people have a stage fright because they're afraid of being criticized you know as kids as a kid or kids they don't have it they do something and they don't care about the opinion of other kids does it exist in the childhood I don't think so <laughs> mostly kids they just do because they have fun because the, the, the inner voice says I like to do that and I do that and the adults were actually why the most adult adult people lose this joy making things right we always or the most of us they always say like i must do that not i want to do that i would like to do this because it it's fun it makes me happy but most people are so no 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 i must do this 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 i have to do i have to do i have to do and all this have to do again you know build your limiting beliefs and don't really make you happy but back to the criticism get this idea this very important idea people who criticize they don't criticize you they criticize themselves that's why it it doesn't make any sense to be afraid of criticism because you have to understand the psychology the cause and the the result the cause and the action most people criticize not you they criticize themselves and why it happens why they actually criticize themselves because they don't allow themselves to have more because simply they don't know what they want right it's always it's like the whole system the the whole system 
of don't allow yourself why it's important for example i give you an example uh, where all these haters come from mostly all these people they they don't allow themselves to have the, the want because it, it it it's work it's it's hard hard really hard work to uh, learn about yourself to choose the right things to regulate your thoughts to transform your limiting beliefs to you know to build the new beliefs it's hard work they 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 want to get it simple but it doesn't work like this you you should put some effort to get the good result and if you don't allow yourself to have more if you don't allow yourself uh, and you don't make right decisions for yourself for having better life that's your choice but again get this key idea people criticize not you people don't care about you let's be honest because people don't even care about themselves how should they care about you and if they do something they they would like to criticize you they actually the deeply psychological thing is that they are so angry at themselves and they see that you do and they don't do that they really you know they, it triggers them that's why they criticize you of course you should differ the positive criticism when you really learn something but i mean now the the fear of crit being criticized and usually this is something negative so if you want to be free from stage fright think about these three things first of all about education and about your limiting beliefs find your limiting beliefs which you got from your educator educators secondly Take responsibility for your life and ask yourself where you want to be, what you want to do, what do you really like to do, who are you? Discover yourself, discover your, your potential, your talents, your strengths. And third thing, forget about criticism. Know that people who are criticized, they criticize themselves, not you. Okay? So if you have questions or maybe you have uh, you want to share your experiences please write me in the comments below if you want to learn more subscribe to my channel if you want to thank me you can give me a thumb up and see you in the next video bye